Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Banshee for the Commodore Amiga. And this is a game request by Texie88 on YouTube. Right, so this is a um, aeroplane shoot 'em up game. I do believe this is an AGA game. Um, yeah, this is one I never had back in the day. It's got four discs and it works with all the disk drives as far as I know, which is always a bonus thing, especially if you have multiple disk drives, which I never did. I only had DF0, but later on I did upgrade my Amiga 1200 to a hard, I did put a hard drive upgrade into my Amiga, 5, Amiga 1200. Right, okay. But as I say, I never owned this game. Right, okay, let's give it a play. Right. So this should take us to the options. Core design, made some good games. One notably, notably Jaguar XJ220 was superb. Right. Banshee. Right, let's have a look at the options. So, you, this game supports two buttons. Excellent. So, one or two players. Right, keep planes on players on screen. So, I suppose, don't know what that means, but there you go. Difficulty, let's have it on easy. Split power up. So, okay, we'll leave that on. Okay, let's start the game. Absolutely fly across. Let's get an ocean and destroy. Right, okay, so it is loading up. Right, okay, is it like? Yep, yeah, I think we're still loading. Here we go. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Come on. I mean, graphically, it looks pretty nice. Right, you can shoot the power ups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you get different things. I don't know what I've got there. And um, if you push, hang on a minute, push your second button, you do a roll. So I think that um, avoids all enemies. Oh, you're not getting me, you bastard. Right, so, bloody hell, you can really kick it. Oh! What's that? Same fucking weapon. Right, it's a mine. You want to avoid those. So, you can take damage on this. It's not like you one hit, you lose a life. It's like 1943. So you can take on damage. It's more of a health meter. I should have shot that. Because I ain't got a power, proper, decent power up yet. Right, maybe. No, come on. Ah, that wasn't nothing. Or, oh, in this case, it's called a shield. So... So, three lives are, um... I don't know if you get credits, actually, so... Oh, I know, I'll get three lives. And I've just lost one of them. And, plus point, plus point, you carry on where you died. I welcome games like that. Ooh! I did play this on my stream. And I quite enjoyed it. A good recommendation, this. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. As I said, it's a game that I never had back in the day. Also, it comes the boss, so that's going to be a big plane, a big bomber. In fact, there's going to be two big bombers. I don't have any loop abilities for some reason. Oh dear, I'm taking on heavy damage. Right, I've got one eliminated. One of the bombers. Oh, I needed that, I need that, I need that, that tops up. Don't top it all the way up. 
but you know, something's better than nothing. So I've destroyed both bombers. What's that? Oh, extra life, I think. That's welcoming. So you can play one or two players on this. I'm guessing that's simultaneously. That would have been awesome playing this simultaneously. So I can't change. Oh, I've just lost another life. So luckily I've got that bonus life. So I have a loop. For some reason it won't let me use it. Why can't I use loops? I'm pushing the second button. Yeah, for some reason it ain't letting me loop. Even though I'm pushing the second button. Right. Oh shit. Right. Need that. I need that. But I can't get to it. Bollocks. Right. So that's. I'm dead. Now I can't remember if I get continues or not. And I think the answer to that question is no. Yeah, no, I don't get continues in this game. Okay, let's have another go then. So graphics are quite nice. Uh, it's a lot of bronze and silver going on here. Not, not a lot of colours going on. Right, let's get that. So I ain't got no weapons up. Why is my second button working? The game fucked up or something because should be looping, but my second button ain't working. There's nothing wrong with a controller. Well, I fucking hope there ain't nothing wrong with my controller. You can hold down your fire button. Has a rapid fire, but it's, it does fire a lot slower than tapping the fire button. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, no loops. Are, I don't know why my my loops are not working. I got it on two. I mean, it looped when I first started playing the game. <laughs> it's not looping now though. Damn it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Why am I fucking playing... Oh, I've got credits now, hang on. What the hell is happening here? Just hold it out. I hold, I hold down my button. And I've got two credits. I don't know what's going on. Right, one gone. Right, both of them gone. Oh, I need that. An extra life.
interesting if I get two credits then. It says I've got two credits. But I'm not getting extra weapons. Why am I not getting upgraded weapons? That's something I want to know. Is there a problem with this game or something? What's that? Oh, was a smart bomb. seem to be the same. I reckon this second button's supposed to be doing something but it's not doing nothing. I don't know what the fuck's going on. All oh, right so if I push spacebar it loops. So for some reason it might have unactivated itself from two buttons to one button. I'm sure I didn't change the settings. Well that's annoying if it's just automatically automatically changed the setting. Or I have to keep changing the setting every time I go into the game. That's annoying. Nice uh, weather effects going on here. So these are the bosses, the submarines. Ooh. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I should... Oh, right! I, I've got it. I know, I've got it. To activate the credits, you have to push your fire button before the screen changes colour. Texi did give me a um, of a, a lot of tips. I should have read the tips. I knew I'd forget. I always tend to forget <laughs> when I, people give me tips. I tend to forget. Well, usually people give me tips after I play the game, but really, really, I get tips before the game. And I did get a load of tips by Texi, but. I've got, I knew I'd forget. <laughs> so I think sometimes I do review a lot of games in one day and sometimes I do forget to um, look at the tips. Right, the weapons have changed. So I've got to remember to push spacebar to activate my rolls. Oh fuck. I pushed, I don't know what I pushed to pause it but here we go. That's quite annoying why it selected back to one button. I don't know why that is. I didn't select it to one button. What's that? Oh. So we've got some... We're in the clouds. It's a nice effect. Oh, fuck it. So you get three credits. Every three credits you get three lives, standard. Um, plus, oh, it's got a lot of plus points in this game, so the plus point is, um, as I die, when you lose a life you continue where you leave off, and that also includes when you use the credits, you continue where you leave off. Take note gamers or coders well it's too late now but you know I've played some bullseye shoot 'em up games where you lose a life it takes you back to the beginning again R type I know that's checkpoint based it's an arcade game so it's designed to fucking be hard I mean, it's not our type, is it? I mean, it's a totally different game. Right, so where are we? Ooh. Oh, I've got to fucking push my space bar. 
Or can it just keep it on? Oh, what's that? So I'm not. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some different fire power. How many lives have I got? It's my last one on this credit anyway. Got one more credit, so remember to push the button. Oh! Oh shit! So I can push button now and I'll continue. There we go, three more lives. We could wait a little while before the screen turns, you know, it's getting dark and just push your button, I guess. Cheekily get you up the screen a little bit further. But yeah, this is this is a good game. Make it a I know it's military, it's a military game, so you're not supposed to really have bright colours, but Maybe adding a bit more colour might have made it nicer. But I don't know. I mean, the colours are, are appropriate. You know, they're supposed to be really um, brown and greens and, you know, supposed to be camouflage. And um, colours to represent the ground. And it's supposed to be really green and browns. <laughs> I know it looks the plane. Plane looks bronze. I know that. And uh, HUDs all look bronze. Enemy planes, silver. Train silver and green. Oh, I've blown up the train. Tanks are obviously camouflage. I like the way the soldiers die. Oh, come on. Oh. So if you like shoot 'em up games, certainly give this one a try. I would highly recommend it. It's very good on the Amiga. But make sure you do turn on those that two button support. Oh no, I haven't got no more, no more lives. But I would definitely say that is a good game. And I don't even get my name on the scoreboard chart. After all that, I don't even get my name on the scoreboard chart. Oh dear, never mind. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.